What's up everybody, welcome to another Honest Comparison video. Today we are going to talk about all the gaming phones available on the market. Well, today we have Red Magic 9 Pro, Asus ROG 8 Pro and iQ12. Yeah, all of these three smartphones are available on the global market and I have noticed that many of my regular viewers, my subscribers are a bit confused. Which one should they go for? So we will talk about all the features and performance of these gaming phones. I'm not going to go through the unboxing again because I have already done the unboxing when I have separately reviewed these smartphones on this channel. If you want to check those reviews, well, check the description box. I have left all the review links in the description box. If you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Well, let's start from the outlook and appearance. Red Magic 9 Pro truly looks like a gaming smartphone. It has a loud gaming vibe. Because it comes with a transparent rear panel, there are a lot of RGB lights here and there, an active cooling fan inside, shoulder triggers, and a physical slider to activate game lobby. Yeah, Asus ROG Phone 8 also comes with shoulder triggers, but those shoulder triggers are no more ultrasonic shoulder triggers. So the performance of the shoulder triggers of Red Magic 9 Pro is now way better than Asus ROG 8 Pro. On the other hand, iQ12 doesn't have any shoulder trigger, it also doesn't have the 3.5mm port, which is available on both the Red Magic 9 Pro and Asus ROG 8 Pro. If Red Magic 9 Pro became unique by having an active cooling fan inside the smartphone, then ROG 8 Pro is also similarly unique, because it has a display panel at the center of the rear panel. Asus has tried to give this ROG Phone 8 Pro a mainstream type of look by having a very big protruding camera block. Yeah, it is even protruding than iQ12. So we are also gonna check the camera performance of these smartphones but let's first check the display performance of these gaming phones because if the display performance of any smartphone isn't that good then gaming on that phone won't be that much enjoyable. Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a 6.8 inch BOE Q9 Plus FHD Plus AMOLED display panel. This panel has an under display camera and I think this is one of the most important point because we have all the display real estate without any interruption on the display panel as the selfie camera is hidden under the display. The 6.8 inch AMOLED panel of Red Magic 9 Pro is one of the best in its class. It has ultra thin bezels, it offers smooth display performance with 120Hz refresh rate and this display panel also supports 2160Hz PWM. Ok, the display panel of iQ12 also supports 2160Hz pulse width modulation which is known as PWM. It is a 6.78 inch LTPO AMOLED panel. It has 1260 by 2800 resolution. It supports HDR10 Plus and 1 billion colors. In terms of display performance, both the Red Magic 9 Pro and iQ12 comes very close to each other, but I will put Red Magic 9 Pro a bit ahead because it comes with an uninterrupted display panel. Well, even if ROG 8 Pro's display panel supports 165Hz refresh rate, but it isn't as good as Red Magic 9 Pro or iQ12's display panel. Also, you need to know that the LTPO thing only works when you select 120Hz refresh rate. If you're gonna select 165Hz refresh rate, then you're gonna lose that adaptive refresh rate. So it will drain battery faster than its competitors. Personally, I'm not that happy with the display panel of ROG 8 Pro. It has failed to reproduce natural colors. Yeah, sometimes it goes very much vivid and vibrant, so it goes far from reality, and sometimes auto brightness won't even work. If you have watched my other reviews or comparisons, then you may know about this DCGB. We have already talked about display, the D. Let's check the camera performance, the C. Both the Asus ROG 8 Pro and iQ12 comes with a very good quality rear camera setup. Asus ROG 8 Pro has a very good flagship class Sony IMX890 main sensor tagged to an optically stabilized lens. It also has a 32 megapixel OV32C sensor tagged to an optically stabilized telephoto lens and offers 3 times optical zoom. iQ has used the OV50H, a 50 megapixel sensor as its main sensor and this sensor is also tagged to an optically stabilized lens. iQ has used a very good 64 megapixel sensor OV64B as its telephoto sensor and this sensor is also tagged to an optically stabilized lens. Finally, Red Magic 9 Pro, it comes with a GN5 main sensor, another 50 megapixel sensor tagged to an optically stabilized lens, but there isn't no telephoto lens on Red Magic 9 Pro. 
I've taken some human subject photos and portrait photos of my friends. I will let you go through those photos. You check by yourself, check carefully and let me know in the comment section which phone has actually performed better. I think iQ12 has really done very good. It has performed like a camera flagship while Asus ROG 8 Pro has disappointed me. It has performed like a proper gaming phone even after having a flagship class sensor. And Red Magic 9 Pro? Wow, the performance is truly amazing. In most of the photos, it has even performed better than Asus ROG 8 Pro. Well, before we talk about the gaming performance, let's check some benchmark performance. I ran 3 dmark the gamer's benchmark solar Bay stress test on 7 different smartphones. All of these phones are powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 3. Some are known as camera flagships, some are known as gaming phones, some are known as budget flagships. So let's check the performance of these phones. The main reason of running a stress test is to check the stability. In terms of stability, Red Magic 9 Pro is the best. It is way ahead of its competitors. Red Magic 9 Pro has 99.8% stability, while ROG 8 Pro has only 83% stability and iQ12 has 73.5% stability. For your information, Oppo Find X7 Ultra has 93.4% stability, Xiaomi 14 Pro has 89.9% stability, even Realme GT5 Pro which costs only one third of a Asus ROG 8 Pro, has 88.7% stability. I'm truly a bit shocked to see that OnePlus 12 has the worst stability. Well, that stability rate says it all. I'm not gonna talk about game lobby and all the controls because there are a lot of options to fine tune your gaming performance and even after doing a lot of tuning, Asus ROG 8 Pro has failed to deliver a very stable frame rate for hours after hours which Red Magic 9 Pro has done with ease. The base variant of Asus ROG 8 Pro doesn't come with an aeroactive cooler, you will need to spend a lot of money to buy that. And without an aeroactive cooler, Asus ROG 8 Pro gets very hot very fast. Yeah, playing games for 30 minutes on any of these free gaming phones is really enjoyable and delightful, but after 30 minutes, Asus ROG 8 Pro activates its thermal throttling. As the phone starts generating a lot of heat, the frame rate gets a very big hit. Yeah, Red Magic has embedded an extra cheap Red Core 2 Pro. This chipset takes care of audio, RGB, and haptics, so the SoC can focus on performance. Talking about performance, Red Magic 9 Pro offers the most fluid in-game experience with a very high frame rate. During a 100 minutes gaming session, we have noticed that the frame rate actually has remained stable at 60 frames per second. That's really a great consistency. Thanks to its ICE 13 cooling system, which is comprised of underscreen copper foil, underscreen graphene, 3D ice step dual pump VC, aerospace aluminum mid frame, high speed centrifugal fan, high thermal conductive gel, and many other materials. I was a bit worried how good would be the performance of iQ12 side by side with two other gaming monsters. iQ12 has actually surprised me. It has offered way better in-game experience than Asus ROG 8 Pro. iQ12 has also offered very smooth in-game experience and there wasn't any hint of thermal throttling even after playing games for 100 minutes. Kudos to iQ. So yeah, when it comes to gaming, Red Magic 9 Pro would be my first choice and then iQ12 and then Asus ROG 8 Pro. There is another reason of putting Asus ROG 8 Pro on the third spot because even if it comes with shoulder triggers, even if there are tons of customization options inside the phone, the gaming triggers aren't that responsive. Rather, Red Magic 9 Pro's gaming buttons or shoulder triggers are way more responsive and works perfectly fine. The fourth thing I always care about is the battery performance. Red Magic 9 Pro comes with a very big, massive 6500 mAh battery and it supports 80 watt charging. When I have used this Red Magic 9 Pro as my primary drive, I have managed to squeeze 11 hours of screen on time, 
which is way better than the other two. And as it supports 80 watt charging speed, it gets fully recharged within 42 minutes. iQ12 comes with a 5000 mAh battery and yeah, inside the box, it comes with a 120 watt charger. So it takes only around 23 to 24 minutes to get fully refueled. And once it is fully refueled, it offers almost eight hours of screen on time. Asus ROG 8 Pro has a 5500 mAh battery pack inside and yeah, it supports 65 watt wear charging and 15 watt wireless charging. The 65 watt charger takes around 57 to 58 minutes to fully recharge the smartphone, I mean from 0 to 100%. And once ASUS ROG 8 Pro is fully refueled, it goes for about 7 hours and 30 minutes. All of these three smartphones has passed a safety net test, so we can use banking applications on all of these three phones. And yeah, all of these three gaming phones have Widevine L1 certification, so yeah, we can enjoy HD streaming on our favorite platform. Before we wrap up, there are three other things I need to mention. The first thing is the speaker performance. Speaker performance of Red Magic 9 Pro and iQ12 is almost similar. It's very difficult to decide which one actually performs better than the other. So I will let you listen to the same music. You decide by yourself. Yeah, both the Red Magic 9 Pro and iQ12 comes with a proper stereo speaker setup. There are two dedicated speakers, but Asus ROG 8 Pro depends on its earpiece to deliver stereo sound. I'm not that happy with the stereo sound performance of Asus ROG 8 Pro. Well, listen by yourself and then you decide. I know if you are still watching through this video, then you may feel like whether I am bashing ASUS ROG 8 Pro or not. No, I have always loved ASUS ROG smartphones. I have loved all the other ASUS ROG devices which came before this ROG 8 Pro. But I think this time ASUS has messed it up by mixing a lot of things. It's neither a very good gaming phone nor a very good camera phone. Well, at least it has this IP68 rating iQ12 has IP64 while Red Magic 9 Pro doesn't have any type of IP rating cause it has two very big vents for airflow. Finally, well, maybe it doesn't matter to you anymore, but the under display fingerprint sensor of iQ12 is the best among these three. Red Magic 9 Pro comes second and Asus ROG 8 Pro comes third. And when it comes to 2D face unlocking option, one more time iQ12 comes the best, then it's pretty similar between ROG 8 Pro and Red Magic 9 Pro. Well, that's all about these gaming smartphones. If you're a hardcore gamer, then I wouldn't hesitate to recommend you the Red Magic 9 Pro. If you use your smartphone's camera more often than gaming, then I would recommend iQ12. But if you want a piece of something from both the world, the gaming world and the camera world, then you may go for the ASUS ROG 8 Pro, but I wouldn't recommend that ASUS ROG 8 Pro to any of my subscribers because that costs a lot, gets heated, neither the gaming performance nor the camera performance is as good as Red Magic 9 Pro or iQ12. What do you think about these gaming smartphones? Yeah, all of these free and niche products, they're tagged as gaming smartphones, but as I have already shown through this video, most of the other flagship smartphones are ready to offer you almost the same performance. But one more time, if you are truly a hardcore gamer, if a split of a second matters, if the shoulder triggers matters, if stability matters, then Red Magic 9 Pro is the winner of this comparison. Well, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.